नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम In this lecture, we will see that how the dimension of a commutative ring is defined in general. Uh, for a general commutative ring, the concept of dimension was first defined by Krull, and Krull's motivation to define the dimension came from actually topology and geometry. So, first I will set up uh, the the geometry um, algebraic geometry language i will use that precisely means the following so k is our base field field and it is usually assume k is algebraically close and we saw in earlier lecture that uh, so called affine algebraic geometry this is precisely the study of algebraic sets in kn this is a study of algebraic sets in kn and we saw that algebraic sets in kn they are in bijective correspondence with radical ideals in the polynomial ring in n variables and the correspondence is um, if you have an ideal a so ideal a radical ideal we can assume that is using that we have defined this vk this is all the common zeros of all the polynomials in a a in kn such that f of a is zero for all f in a so this is a subset of k power n and we have uh, saw the properties of these sets and those are precisely the closed sets of a zariski topology on kn and the other way map is uh, if you have a uh, arbitrary subset w that would define an ideal of w i k w to be all polynomials which vanish on w so this is precisely all polynomials f in k x1 to x n such that f of w uh, f of a is zero for all a in w and this correspondence is a bijective correspondence these are the inverses of each other and they are inclusion reversing um, all this was the starting point was precisely the hilbert's null standards that i'll keep calling hns hilbert null standard says that if i take vk of an ideal and i take the ideal of that closed set then you get back your ideal a this is so this this means these maps vk and ik are inverses of each other and they are inclusion reversing so one can um, study the algebraic sets by using the ideals in the polynomial ring in n variable that is called commutative algebra so here is 
a fine algebraic geometry please study that is commutative algebra so these are these are geometric objects and these are algebraic objects so for example the points here they correspond to the maximal ideals and the closed sets they correspond to the radical ideals so the objects here have the structure of geometry so for example so first of all i want to also say that um, uh, every algebraic set is of the form v of vk of f1 to fr fm only finitely many polynomials are needed to define a given algebraic sets because this corresponds to the fact that the polynomial ring in n variables this ring is noetherian so ideals are finitely generated so that is ideals are finitely generated so but i will still keep writing vk of an ideal so this is contained in kn and this is a closed set it has a more structure so it also has a topology which is coming from indus topology so this is also topological space with indus there is topology that means the closed sets here closed sets in vk a are precisely closed sets in kn which are contained in vk which are contained in vk these are precisely the closed sets there also to this vk a we have an attached an ideal that ik ik of vk this is the vanishing ideal this is the all those polynomials which vanish on this and therefore also we have attached a ring namely k x1 to xn modulo this ideal so in any case uh, this a may not be radical ideal but uh, here it will be radical ideal and therefore this ring will be a reduced ring reduce k algebra of finite type over k this is called also the coordinate ring of ring of vk so for example if i take the ideal a to be generated by x square plus y square minus 1 this is two variables now k x y i am taking 
So if I have to draw the pictures, I will draw in the plane. So what will be? So this is A. So what is V? I am drawing. I am taking R equal to K equal to R for drawing picture. So V R of A. This is precisely the circle. This is V K. If I would have taken two linear equations, say a x plus b y equal to c or minus c, and times uh, a prime x plus b prime y minus c prime, this is my f. Then what is v k of f? That will be pair of two lines. We may not be passing through origin, so there are two lines. Okay, and so on. So we actually study all these. So the study begins when we start studying analytic geometry in a college, where we study the zero set of uh, polynomials of degree two in two variables, and then we analyze them, uh, and we only do degree two. And we analyze them and say they are hyperbola, parabola, circle, and so on. So that was the beginning of this. All right. So our problem is to attach a number. We would like to assign to each algebraic set v. V is let me abbreviate v as v k. To this, we want to attach a number called a dimension v. So dimension. Which which should have desirable properties. What are the desirable properties? So let us see two examples. They are very important to understand how we have assigned the number dimension. So examples. One of them. Suppose v is defined only by one equation, where f is a polynomial in n variables. So suppose f is a non-zero constant. F actually is a constant a. A is in K and non-zero. Then what will be v? What will be the vanishing elements in v k f? That will be just then v k f is empty set because no matter which points I take in k power n, when I plug it in this a, it will never be zero. Therefore, this is empty set. This is this is when f is a non-zero constant. If f is zero, then v k f is the whole k power n, because every po a point when I plug it in this equation, it is zero, so it is this. So suppose f is non-constant, non-constant polynomial. Then then if Okay, if n equal to one, we know this is then the finite set of points. This this f v k f is a finite set of points because it's a polynomial in one variable. It has only finitely many zeros, therefore it is finite set of points. If n equal to two, then this v k f is a curve. When you try to plot the graph of this. V K F that will be a curve. When n equal to three, this V K F is a surface. In general, in a general, in general, for general n, one calls this V K F as a hypersurface. Hypersurface is something which is defined by only one equation, and you call it surface curve depending on whether n equal to two, three. If n equal to four, it will be called threefold, and so on. All right. So this is one example. Uh, second example. Suppose now I take n equal to three, and I take v v equal to v k f comma g two polynomials in three variables. 
and we are looking at the common zeros. So this is defined by two equations. Two equations. So f equal to zero and g equal to zero together. So that will give us the following. So what will be the analysis again? Uh, either it, it is either k3, I am taking it in k3, so three variables case. So either it is whole k3, this will happen when this ideal generated by f and g is a zero ideal. That means f and g both are zero, then you call this will be k3. Otherwise it will be a surface or a curve or empty set. So empty set will come, this, this is precisely means the ideal generated by f and g is a unit ideal. So this ideal is the whole, uh, so it generated by one also. So it's a unit ideal. This case is precisely when f and g, these polynomials in three variables have common factor, have common non-constant common factor, common factor, non-constant. That is that case. Or when will it, when will this happen? And, and so you notice that these are the geometric properties, curve, surface or whole thing and these are algebraic properties. So this K3 will occur for example when uh, this ideal generated by F and G is zero ideal. That means this is equivalent to saying both F equal to zero and G equal to zero. Okay. Now in this case, the it will never be finite set of points. So uh, uh, it cannot be finite set of point. That needs a little proof, but uh, that I leave it for you to check. It cannot be finite set of points. Okay. Now I want to attach a number. So before I do that. I also, oh, so here it is, I want to attach the number. So this page should be, okay. I want to attach some number to the algebraic set. So that, and we call it a dimension. And before that, when do I say that an algebraic set, when do I say that V, which is an algebraic set, is irreducible subset? This means you cannot write V. So first of all, if V should be non-empty and V is not a union of two proper algebraic sets. So that means V cannot be equal to VK of some ideal B union VK of some C and these are the proper subset. That means VK B and VK C, they are properly contained in V. It's not, this concept is defined for arbitrary topological space. And a subset of a irreducible, a subset of a topological space is called irreducible if it is non-empty and it is not union of two proper closed sets, then you call it irreducible. For example, um, in this, in this uh, example, in the plane, I have taken two lines. This is obviously not irreducible because this is union of these two proper closed sets. This is one, clo one closed set, this is another closed set. So this is not irreducible.
whereas the circle this is irreducible and later on we will see that this property irreducibility in uh, algebraic sets that is equivalent to saying that corresponding polynomial this polynomial x square plus y square minus 1 this is irreducible in irreducible polynomial in two variables. So, this is a geometric property irreducibility is a geometric property, but one can explain in terms of algebra this is what I will do it in general soon. Alright, so what is the what is the uh, dimension? Okay, the dimension we want to attach the number. So, and what are the desirable properties? So, these are desirable properties. of v going to this function dimension v. I am writing desirable property so that we will know what can it be and we will prove it should be that. So, first of all number 1 the dimension of the affine space should be n. This is also matching with our earlier study that for example, as a vector space dimension is n and, and so on. In R2, we are saying the two dimensional geometry, three dimensional geometry, and so on. So, dimension of Kn should be 1, uh, n. 2, if V is a union of finite union of closed sets Vi, is, I is from 1 to n, then the dimension of V should be equal to supremum of dimension of Vi's. So, if you for example, if you take a line uh, union of lines, then the dimension should be 1 only because the dimension of each line should be 1 and therefore this. This uh, desirable property 2 is based on the thinking that if I take finitely many points, you will not make it a curve. If I take finitely many curves, you will not make a surface and so on. This is, so this is the one desirable property. Third one, if V is irreducible, V is irreducible and W is a proper sub variety, proper uh, subset, proper algebraic set, algebraic set then the dimension of W should be less than dimension of V. The dimension of a proper subset should be strictly less than dimension of V. That is when V is irreducible. Now, the next desirable property is if D is the dimension 4, if D is this number is the dimension V, and if it is positive, then V contains non empty algebraic set W such that dimension of W drops exactly by 1, it is D minus 1. So, that means, so this, this observation is based on the fact that every curve has points, every surface has curves on that and so on. So, fifth, if V is an algebraic set in Kn and D is the dimension of V which is positive, then for most hypersurfaces, if I intersect V with H, the dimension should drop by 1, exactly by 1. So, that is the fifth desirable property. 
So, 6 1, 6, if I have an open subset, u open subset of an algebraic variety V, algebraic subset, algebraic set V, and if it is dense, u dense in then the dimension of u and dimension of v should be same. All right. Uh, two more, seven. If d is the dimension v, then there are exactly d independent functions. functions on V. So, for example, if we were, uh, we were Rn, then we have n coordinate functions and they are independent functions. So, that is the motivation for this 7. The lastly 8, if D is the dimension V, then So, these concepts will become clearer when we define them properly. Then there are exactly d degrees of freedom. On v. So, this we will define uh, soon. Now, so the, I would like to have a dimension so that it satisfies these seven properties. But already we will show, we will show that the properties 2, 3 and 4 determines unique function from algebraic sets to natural numbers where v is non-empty uh, for v non-empty and okay so this we will prove it uh, soon, but we will use the fact that this polynomial ring is Noetherian. This is what we will use to check that already if I have the property 2, 3, 4, then it determines the unique function and that is called a dimension. And this uh, after the break, I will show you how it leads to the definition of Krull in terms of the prime ideals, the supremum of the uh, chains of the lengths of the uh, supremum of the lengths of the chains of the prime ideals. This is what I will show you after the break.